If you're a fan of Marvel movies, you've probably enjoyed Wesley Snipes' roles, especially in the iconic Blade series. He boldly stepped into the action star scene, becoming one of the few African-American leading men to do so. Blade set the stage as the first Marvel character to headline successful films. But then, it seemed like he disappeared. A tax issue in 2008 that hit him hard, costing him millions and leading to a three-year prison sentence. An obstacle that took a toll on his career. In spite of the fact that Wesley is a popular personality, do you know everything about his personal life? In this video, we will delve into everything about the actor's life. Don't forget like and subserve. Let's go, early career. Wesley Trent Snipes was born on July 31, 1962, in Orlando, Florida. Growing up with his three sisters in the South Bronx, he was raised by his grandmother and mother. Snipes attended the high school for the performing arts in New York City and later pursued his acting career after attending the State University of New York at Purchase. In his early years in New York City's South Bronx, Snipes delved into martial arts at the age of seven, initially as a means of self-defense due to his small stature. At 12, after securing a small role in an off-Broadway production of The Me Nobody Knows, he decided to make performing the central focus of his future. Until 1977, he studied acting, music, and dance at the High School of the Performing Arts when his family relocated to Orlando, Florida. Orlando became the backdrop for Snipes' discovery by an agent, marking the initiation of a career filled with diverse roles. His cinematic debut occurred in the movie Wildcats, paving the way for subsequent successes. A turning point came with a guest appearance on the show Miami Vice, establishing his presence in the industry. However, it was his portrayal as Michael Jackson's nemesis in the iconic Bad Music video that truly thrust him into the limelight, catching the attention of director Spike Lee and showcasing Snipes' undeniable talent. Mainstream Success Teaming up with Spike Lee opened doors for Wesley Snipes leading to roles in films like Jungle Fever and Mo' Better Blues. While Snipes showcased his incredible range as an actor, he found a niche in portraying characters with a particular edge, often as drug dealers or crime lords. Notable films in this vein include New Jack City, Sugar Hill, and Kings of New York. After solidifying his presence in the industry, Snipes shifted towards action-packed roles, allowing him to display his authentic martial arts skills. This phase featured memorable performances in films such as Passenger 57, Money Train, The Fan, U.S. Marshals, Rising Sun, and the iconic Demolition Man alongside Sylvester Stallone. Amidst the action, Snipes also revealed his comedic side with movies like White Men Can't Jump and To Wong Fu. Wesley Snipes achieved his peak commercial and financial success with the Blade Trilogy, commencing in 1998. The initial film in the series garnered $150 million worldwide, leading to the production of two subsequent films, Blade II and Blade Trinity. However, the conclusion of the Blade series marked the onset of a period where Wesley Snipes experienced a relative lack of visibility. In court filings related to his tax evasion case, it was revealed that between 1996 and 2004, Snipes earned a total income of $37.9 million, primarily derived from film salaries. Projects Outside of Acting Wesley Snipes also started his own security firm. The company was centered around providing security for VIPs and focused on hiring personnel with law enforcement and martial arts backgrounds. Wesley Snipes also created his own film production company, which has produced films like A Great and Mighty Walk, Dr. John Henrik Clark. In 2017, his book Talon of God was published. Who was his first wife? April Dubois was born on June 15, 1975, in Los Angeles, California. Despite her husband's fame, she has managed to keep her personal life private, leaving much of her background shrouded in mystery. Her upbringing and education have remained undisclosed to the public. April Dubois is known to be an avid traveler, 
often exploring exotic destinations with her husband. Her passion for photography is evident through the captivating snapshots she shares on her private social media accounts. Additionally, she has shown a keen interest in philanthropy, supporting various charitable causes and organizations. April Dubois and Wesley Snipes tied the knot on May 5, 2003, in an intimate ceremony surrounded by close friends and family. His second and only wife. Nakyung Nikki Park is Wesley Snipes' wife, who is a South Korean painter and an artist. She was born on September 1, 1977. Her father, Park Cheol, was once a director at Munhwa Broadcasting Corporation, which helped produce many hit Korean TV shows in the 90s. Nak Young is about 45 years old as of 2023. Wesley Snipes' wife had an interest in art since her childhood. She did her first painting session in her neighbor's garage when she was just five years old. She even pursued art in her school. Nak Young attended elementary school in Seoul. Later, the family moved to Vancouver, Canada, was Nikki was an adolescent. While in Canada, she attended Vancouver Island University and graduated in graphic designing. Furthermore, she joined Emily Carr University where she learned painting, makeup, film production, and fashion merchandising. They dated for a few years and tied the knot on 17th of March, 2003. They married in a quaint little county courthouse in Hackensack, New Jersey. Surprisingly, their wedding was a hush-hush wedding event and very private. Only one friend attended their wedding ceremony who was an acquaintance of Snipes, a local lawyer named John Carbone. In fact, they had to use a court employee as their second witness. Well, don't you think it is too intimate? In March 2021 interview, Wesley opened up about how fatherhood affected the way he played the character General Izzy in the comedy Coming to America. He said, General Izzy is a reflection of my children and their influence and impact on me, the timing, the humor, the way they played things, the nuances. What you are seeing in my joy is a reflection of them and their effect on me. Wesley Snipes once revealed that he considers South Korea as his second home. Nakyung Park's father, Park Cheol, died on 13th out of July 2020. He was 82 years old when he passed away. Nak Young's husband, Wesley, praised his father-in-law for being one of the major driving forces behind the great popularity of Korean culture. Park Cheol created a TV drama series, What is Love, on NBC TV. It is considered one of the first ever acclaimed Korean cultural export products. It aired on China TV in 1997, and it attracted millions of Chinese TV viewers. Further, Wesley applauded Park Cheol for leading South Korea to the forefront of cultural history. After years been together, the couple has four children here is some information that you might be interested. Jelani Asar Snipes. Wesley had his eldest son with his first wife in 1988. Jelani Asar, 34, is Wesley's only son with April. While he's mostly kept hour of the spotlight, he did make a cameo in one of his dad's movies when he was still just a toddler. Jelani Asar Snipes began his acting career in the 1990s, appearing in the film Mo Better Blues. While this early role showcased his talent, it was just the beginning of a promising career. Building upon his family's legacy in the entertainment industry, Jelani has since worked diligently to hone his craft and make a name for himself. Following in his father's footsteps, Jelani has been selective in his choice of roles, ensuring that each one showcases his versatility and depth as an actor. His performances in various genres, including drama, action, and comedy, have captivated audiences. While Jelani's career is still in its early stages, he has already garnered critical acclaim for his talent and dedication. He was cast as the one-year-old Miles in a montage for the Spike Lee-directed drama Mo Better Blues, which premiered in 1990. Wesley and April divorced in 1990, and his son has mostly kept private since the split. The appearance in Mo Better Blues appears to have been his only time in the film industry. Jelani is now the chief marketing officer for a meta-marketing company. In addition, he has earned a pretty handful amount of money from his career. His main source of income is his acting career. 
However, the Hollywood actor has kept his annual income or salary secret from the media to date. As per the sources, he has an estimated net worth of around $5 million as of 2024. Akhenaten Kiwati Snipes Wesley and Nikki had their eldest child in Akhenaten 22 in 2000, a few years before they got married, via Buzz South Africa. Akhenaten Kiwati Snipes is a celebrity child. He is in the limelight because he is Wesley Snipes' son. His father is a famous American actor and film producer, and he is also widely recognized as an American martial artist and author. Akhenaten was born in 2012, even though his actual date of birth hasn't been shared. He was born to his father's second wife, Nak Yung Park. She is a South Korean painter and artist. She came into the spotlight because of her relationship with Wesley Snipes. Wesley's wife now is a painter and visual artist, and she regularly posts photos of, of her work on Instagram. All four of Wesley's kids with Nikki follow the same naming pattern, where their middle names have a T after them. The couple have seemed to have kept their children away from the spotlight, and not many details are known about their kids, outside of their names. Their son's name seems to be taken from an Egyptian pharaoh, who lived from 1372 to 1335 BCE. I said Jua T. Snipes. Wesley Snipes and Nikki Park welcomed their only daughter, Iset Jua T. Snipes, in 2001, just before getting married. The couple appears to hold a special regard for their daughter, as her first name, Iset, is an ancient Egyptian word meaning she of the throne. This choice suggests a sense of royalty and significance for their eldest child together. While Wesley Snipes and Nikki Park keep details about their family and children private, Wesley has expressed his love and devotion as a father. In a tweet posted in January 2018, he shared a video featuring different fathers helping and protecting their children, emphasizing that every day is Father's Day, along with prayer hands, emojis. This public glimpse into his sentiments suggests the importance he places on fatherhood and family. A la Afia Jehu T. Snipes Wesley Snipes and Nikki Park exchanged vows in 2003, and the following year, in 2004, they welcomed their first son together, Ala Afia, who is currently 17 years old. Much like their approach with their other children, Wesley and Nikki maintain a private life for Ala Afia, keeping him out of the public eye. Despite the privacy, Ala Afia's name carries special significance, drawing inspiration from the Arabic name Alafia, which translates to peace, according to Names Folder. While the family is generally private, Wesley Snipes revealed in a March 2021 interview with Fatherly that his wife and kids made cameo appearances in one scene of his movie, Coming Seku America. Wesley mentioned, and here's a secret. My family is actually in it. We got them in as a cameo. We'll see if people can find them. They're all in one scene. Ali Mayu Moa T. Nikki gave birth to the pair's son, Ali Mayu, 14, in March 2007. Ali Mayu, like his older siblings, is kept out of the public eye, and the family maintains a private life. His name, Ali Mayu, has Ethiopian origins and translates to in honor of God, according to Nameberry. The birth of Alamayu coincided with a challenging period for Wesley Snipes, as he was sentenced to three years in prison for tax fraud. Following his time away, Snipes spoke about the experience and how it enhanced his appreciation for his family in a 2020 interview with The Guardian. He shared, The biggest thing I got from it was learning the value of time and how we often squander it. I understand that very clearly now, having been away from my family and loved ones two and a half years. What is Wesley Snipes' net worth and salary? Wesley Snipes is an American actor, film producer, and martial artist who has a net worth of negative $9 million. Wesley Snipes was one of the biggest actors in the world in the 1990s. He starred in a string of box office smash hits and at his peak earned tens of millions of dollars in film salaries. 
In fact, thanks to an IRS legal battle waged by Wesley, we know for a fact that he specifically earned $37.9 million between 1996 and 2004. Unfortunately, during this period, Wesley did not pay a dime in taxes while also requesting $12 million in false refunds. These actions resulted in a lengthy court battle that ultimately landed Wesley in prison for nearly 900 days after being convicted of tax evasion. He was also ordered to pay $17 million in back taxes, interests, and penalties, an amount that ballooned to $23.5 million by 2018 when the case bubbled back up in a tax court. In the end, the government offered to lower his debt to $9.5 million. It's unclear if Wesley has paid any or perhaps all of that debt to this point. Even after getting the debt chopped from $23.5 million to $9.5 million, Wesley claimed he did not have the resources to render payment and counted with an offer of $842,000. Snipes first gained recognition in the 1980s with supporting roles in films like Streets of Gold, 1986, and Major League, 1989. His charismatic performances quickly led to leading roles, and by the 1990s, he had become one of Hollywood's top action stars. One of Snipes' most iconic roles came with the Blade trilogy, in which he played the titular character, a vampire hunter. The success of Blade, 1998, Blade II, 2002, and Blade Trinity, 2004. Not only established Snipes as a leading man in the action genre, but also helped pioneer the modern era of comic book films. Outside the action sphere, Snipes has been praised for his performances in dramas such as Jungle Fever, 1991, and New Jack City, 1991, where he showcased his ability to delve into complex characters. His role in White Men Can't Jump, 1992, displayed his flair for comedy, proving his adaptability across various genres. Despite facing legal troubles and a period of absence from the big screen, Snipes made a strong comeback with appearances in films like The Expendables 3, 2014, and Dole Might Is My Name, 2019, earning critical praise and re-establishing his place in Hollywood, tax issues, and prison. In 2006, just two years after the release of Blade Trilogy, Wesley Snipes was charged with conspiring to defraud the U.S. government and another count of making a false claim for payment against the U.S. He was also charged with a further six counts of failing to file tax returns. The conspiracy charges alleged that Snipes had filed fraudulent tax returns for refunds amounting to tens of millions of dollars. Furthermore, Snipes was charged with failing to file tax returns from 1999 to 2004. Between 1996 and 2004, Snipes earned $37.9 million from his acting career and apparently failed to pay any taxes during that entire time. In 2008, Snipes was acquitted of all felony charges. However, he was found guilty of three misdemeanor charges for failing to file tax returns. As a result, the actor was sentenced to three years in prison and was released in 2013. He served the rest of his sentence under house arrest. In addition to his prison sentence, Wesley was required to pay $17 million in back taxes, interest, and penalties to the IRS. Wesley continued to fight his debt for years to come. In 2018, he offered to settle what by then had grown to be a $23.5 million debt for a paltry $842,000. The government rejected his offer and instead countered with $17 million. A judge eventually finalized the amount at $9.5 million. Unsatisfied, Wesley continued fighting even that reduced amount. Claiming his $842,000 offer was a best and final offer considering his lack of assets and income. It's not clear, as of this writing, whether Wesley has paid off any or perhaps all of the debt. We may not know until the government makes a future filing because either the debt has been satisfied or due to further lack of payment. Real Estate Wesley Snipes bought a house in Windermere, Florida for just a little more than a million dollars. The property in Isleworth, 
features artistic finishes throughout and contains five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, a three-car garage, a large summer kitchen, and a luxury open-air pool and spa. He was a resident of the upscale community for more than a decade before selling a 1.16-acre lakefront property in foreclosure for $640,000 in 2004. Wesley Snipes and his wife Nikki Park also had a home in Alpine, New Jersey, which the couple sold off in 2014 at a price close to 4.2 million. Around the time, Snipes was being charged with tax evasion. And in 2008, was ultimately convicted of three misdemeanor counts of failing to file $15 million worth of federal income tax returns. He lost his appeal against conviction, and in December 2010, he was jailed and released in 2013. According to a deed recently recorded in Orange County, Brenda Dicraf and her husband, Jose Ignacio Monsalve Cadena, sold the property to married couple Dinesh and Seema Khanna. The home consists of a family room, game room, and so-called bonus room with a built-in bar and private entrance. The property also contains a three-car garage, large summer kitchen, and luxury open-air pool and spa. Many business executives and celebrity athletes and actors have called Windermere home. The property next door was home to PGA golf champions Tiger Woods and Bubba Watson at separate times. New Jersey Mansion In 2002, Wesley paid $5.6 million for a 10,000-square-foot mansion in Alpine, New Jersey. In early 2008, it was reported that he owed $70,000 in back property taxes connected to the mansion. In March 2014, the home was sold for $3.5 million, representing a $2.1 million loss for the actor. Over 18,000 SQFT of living space is spread among six bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. The house is massive. The pool, hot tub, and expansive patio are just a few features. The area in this residence is ample for many families to dwell. The house would have been perfect for snipes to host parties in. It's in a great spot, right over the river from Manhattan in New Jersey. It's convenient to go to work quickly, and it's also lovely and secure. The property was on and off the market with different agents for several years, and in 2016 once asked for as high as $6.7 million. The master bedroom features a private screened lanai facing the lake with a dual-sided fireplace with the bathroom. And if one isn't enough, the living room also has a fireplace that's made of Italian marble. Car Collection Wesley Snipes has owned several luxury vehicles, including an Aston Martin Vanquish, a Range Rover Sport, a Cadillac Escalade, and a Mercedes-Benz AMG. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, ensuring you won't miss out on more fantastic celebrity content.